Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to explore and analyze your pandas data structures with detail. For more information and install instructions, visit the Python package index and search for detail. And detail is spelled D T A L E. For the imports, we're going to import the Vega data sets and detail. The pandas data frame we're going to use is the cars data set from the Vega data sets. To create our detail data frame, we use detail.show and then we put in the cars data frame. Let's go ahead and run it. And here we have our interactive data frame. This number here tells us the number of rows. And this number here tells us the number of columns. If we click on row 0 and we use command with the down arrow, it takes us to the end of the data frame. And if we click on the last row and we use command up arrow, it takes us to the beginning. To explore and analyze the data frame, we can click on the column header and we get several options. We can also click on this play button, which gives us the main menu options. And there is some overlap between the two. If we would like to sort the data frame by the name column, ascending, we can click here. Or we can sort descending. To take it back to no sort, we use none. To move a column, use these arrows here. To freeze or lock a column, you can use lock. You can also hide a column. And to bring it back, we can click this X here. Other options include deleting and renaming columns and making replacements in columns. If you would like to change the data type of a column, you can use type conversion. To see a summary of your data, you can click describe. To see another type of summary of your data, you can click Column Analysis. To change the format of your data, click Formats. Let's add a thousand separator. There is also a Variance Report option here. If you would like to filter your columns, you can do that as well. Let's filter the miles per gallon column for any cars that get greater than 40 miles per gallon. To get rid of the filter, we can click this X here. To see only missing values, you can click this checkbox here. Now, let's go over some of the main menu options. The options include Convert to X Array, Describe, Custom Filter, Build a Column, Summarize Data, Duplicates, Correlations, Charts, Heat Map, Highlight Data Types, Highlight Missing, Highlight Outliers, Highlight Range, Low Variance Flag, Instances, Code export, export, upload CSV, refresh with, about, reload data, open in new tab, and shut down. So let's go over a few examples. For the describe, we get a summary of our data. Let's create a custom filter. 
For the custom filter, we only want to see the data where the name column is Chevrolet Malibu. And we can see there are two records. Let's go ahead and build a column. And for this example, the new column will be the miles per gallon divided by two. And here we have our new column. Using the summarized data, you have pivot, group by, and transpose options. Let's try out a group by example. And let's group by the cylinders. By function, count. And here we have our group by summary table. Let's go ahead and try out a charts example. For the x axis, we're going to use the years. And for the y axis, we'll use miles per gallon. For the aggregation, we'll use mean. Here we have highlighted the data types. The green are the floats, the blue are the integers, and the pink are the date times. And here we have the strings. Here we have highlighted the missing values. And here we have highlighted the outliers. Let's highlight a range for the horsepower less than 100. And you can see the highlights here. If you have more than one instance of your data, you can click here to see those instances. To close or shut down your data table, you can click Shutdown. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.